I'm Jason Posner from Boca Raton, Florida. I'm here with my good friends Greg Mueller from Beverly Hills, California, and Barry DiBernardo from Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah. All plastic surgeons and all have integrated this device into our practice. So we're talking about soft waves and the patient experience. So let's talk a little bit about what this is. Barry, you want to explain this? Sure. It's ultrasound. It's an ultrasound treatment that treats just under the skin in the right layer. And what about different skin types, darker or lighter doesn't skin types? Doesn't matter at Ethnicity? all. Ethnicity? Ultrasound does not care what color the skin. It does not work on melanocytes. Well, suppose I went to the beach yesterday to have a tan. Can I do it? You can still do it wow. because it doesn't work in that way. That's pretty good. I knew that. <laughs> so this one just goes right to the skin. This is not going to melt fat or anything else like that. Correct. Right, because this transducer in this version now is focused at between 1.5 and 1.8 millimeters under the skin. Just the skin. Just the skin. You know, you know, your skin on your face is maybe three to four millimeters thick if you're really fat, maybe two millimeters if you're really thin. So this is well into the skin, not in the fat, not in the nerves. And let's talk about age bracket a sure. little bit with this. To me, looking at the, having had this device for eight or nine months now, you can treat younger patients, the millennials who are looking for sort of that prejuvenation. They want to kind of prevent aging. We can treat older patients who may not be, who you look at and you go, you need a facelift, but they're not surgical candidates. Maybe they're on blood thinners, doesn't break the skin. Blood thinners are fine. Or maybe you had some medical problems precluding any invasive surgery. I don't think you're going to get a wham result in an older patient like that, but still going to give them some result when they, their options are pretty much zero. So what's the ideal patient I range? think I think ideally for me is 30s and 40s, early 50s with good skin, pre-facelift crowd. If you've done a facelift mm -hmm. and the patient's asked how long is it going to last, well, a year later, skin starts loosening and they don't need to do another surgery, but they can get some spot treatments with this. So it is a good adjunct for post-surgical patients as well. Then how many facelift patients that you look at, you look, you look great and they're like, well, I have a, if I go like this, I got a little bit of laxity here. Sure, we'll zap you a couple of pulses and I think they'll be happy from that. So that little touch up thing is amazing because that's a point, and also this is a point of care sale. Meaning the patient comes into your practice, you want this, you know, you have time on your schedule, you can do it now. I don't need to schedule this three weeks from Wednesday. This, this has built-in cooling. We talked about heat, but this has built-in cooling, so that cooling balances what we're doing with the treatment. So, so would you just put numbing cream on, or how do you prepare just the patients? a little bit of numbing. Okay. You, you can do it without numbing. Sure. It has the built-in cooling, it without and numbing. you can regulate okay. that. Uh, I had it done with a light layer, and I almost fell asleep. But really, this thing doesn't hurt, really especially at the lowest that. settings. It's very effective, and I think we can kind of look at some of the results that you can get from this. Is that we, all right? We talked sure. about the safety and all that, but really the proof is in looking at photos, so yeah. let, let's do that. So uh, we have a photo over here. Um, what you're seeing is, uh, this is an older patient, some, some jowling, some sagging, some wrinkles in the skin there. And then afterwards, like focus in on things. Focus on these, these direct wrinkles. Those are pretty much gone. And, and look at this contour in here. You've got, it, it's not surgery, but it's a very nice result. And this area just kind of shrunk up. That's how I see it. Absolutely. And that's a hard area because there's fat under here and sort of the most dependent portion here. The muscles are tight here, so this is a loose area. This is my patient actually, and um, she, she brings a lot of qualities into this. She's 63 years old. She has looseness around, but I think the plastic surgeon, you, she doesn't need a facelift. No, no, no. And, and, and the other thing, it's a little darker skin. Yeah. You, so, worry about, you worry about poor healing scars and darker skin so people. So we took this with a 3D camera, and look, this is one, tr a month after a single treatment. Look at how it just well, look tidied at the jowl. all look that Look how up. the jowl improved. That's we, the real, we that's what I see. squareness here, and now we have a nice smooth contour. So when Is she patient, happy? Oh, she, she's thrilled, wow, and, and when the result. patients see that kind of result and they didn't have to recover from it, it's a reasonable cost for them, the, that's a game changer. This is amazing. I mean, even the corners of her mouth, you sort of elevated those a little bit. She was downturned here. You and, can and, see the and even Look at even the infraorbital area as well. I think uh, that speaks for itself. The SoftWave device, non-invasive and as we saw, great results. Any skin types, no, no bruising, no redness, beautiful. So if someone's interested in getting this procedure, they can go to softwave.com.